Right, welcome back guys. Uh, today we're now doing a fuel filter on the TT. It's a 2 litre TDI 170, a standard. This isn't standard, but that is what it is. So the fuel filter all and everything else is the same. So let's get on with the fuel filter. You barely need any tools for this one. It's quite an easy one. Um, you need a T20 Torx bit, which I use in a whizzy gun. Screwdriver. So that's just purely so you can hear there's a little gap where you can prise it because it's it's on quite tight so you prise it open and obviously a new fuel filter and a new rubber o-ring to replace so let's just get straight into it and uh now you want to keep keep hold of these because you drop them down in the belly pan and then you're stripping the whole thing down go so now get the screwdriver in here and just prise it up and then just work around there she goes now pull it up very slowly just connect the, these fuel lines out of there just to let you lift it up and there it is Now I pull it out nice and slow to let the fuel run back in. I don't know if you can hear that or if I lift it up you can see it. So we let that run back in or as much as we can because obviously we're going to put a new one in and see some people actually do go into the VADCOM system and pre-prime it but actually if you let the fuel run back in and top it up it will just bleed itself and run fine right now that's fully emptied itself take that out get the new one drop that down and in let it just soak its way in as you see, just don't force it in, let it go in nice and slow so it's soaking up the fuel. And then on the top here, you've got a new rubber o ring that goes on here, which is right here. So just roll it down and on, so that's all on. Now just give it a little wipe with a bit of fuel so you don't tear it as it drops down and in. And then simple enough, you can actually see that it's going to the centre. There we go. And then just put all my hoses back in that I popped out to allow me to pick it up. And there we go. So that's that. Now each one of these I'll catch on by hand. Now you don't screw them all down all the way in because you want to work it down in. So you put all the screws in and then just lightly work them in. So you're pulling it down square on top so you don't twist the bracket or bend it or damage the seal by over. Yeah. So obviously you can do this a little bit. You see it dropping. Drop it down nicely, nice and slow, no rush, just work your way around until they stop. And that's gone in nice and gentle, tight, 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 tight. There we go, and that's it. And now all we do now is get in the car and we fire it up and uh, let it run for a couple of minutes just to. Um, make sure all the air's gone and make sure it's done so we'll fire it up now and make sure everything's okay right so we'll now fire it up go ahead hunt and, uh, we'll leave it running now give it a 
three or four minutes of run just to make sure we've got all the air out and it hasn't you know created an airlock but so far it never has yet and um, yeah it is that simple so you think a garage would charge you a lot of money to do that and it's, it's just so easy and uh, yeah she sounds lovely she's purring like a kitten and uh, we're about to do an oil change so that'll be the next one we'll do okay well hopefully you enjoyed it like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next part cheers guys